Hey, Christy Glass here with my daughter Olive, who helped me with this glorious creation, our Pokemon Yarn Bombs. I took the summer off from my city life and came up to the country and I stopped into the city after several weeks being gone and found that all of my friends were playing Pokemon Go. Yeah, my friends. And my brother had shown me Pokemon Go and then my kids started playing it and I just was like sitting there going, I don't want to play Pokemon Go, I don't care about Pokemon Go, <laughs> but I care about my friends and I care about my family so I thought I need to participate in a special way and so I decided to come up with this. Pokemon Yarn Bomb, and you helped me. Which ones did you help on? Talk about which ones you helped on. I which helped one do we do first? Voltorb. We did Voltorb first, and what part did you do? Um, the white part. Did you? Um, did you do the whole half circle? No. Really cool, and then... Uh, what or did you do the red part? I can't part. remember I either. You did the red part. Who else? Who did we do next? With, um, Oddish. Oddish. You did some of the leaves, right? Yeah. And then who did we do after that? Polywog? Polywog. Did you do anything on Polywog? I thought you did the... Oh yeah, I did the, did the eyes and stuff. And then we did Staryu? Staryu. Did you do anything no. on Staryu? No, we did Tangela. Tangela? Tangela. I think I did all of Tangela. Mm -hmm. and, and then Diglett and Staryu. Then Staryu. Mm -hmm. Diglett. Or was it... I think it was Pikachu. Pikachu was last because mm -hmm. a friend of mine was like, you can totally do Pikachu. And I was like, no, I can't because as you can see, I chose very easy shapes and Pikachu's more complicated, but I, I did circle, it. Circle, circle, circle. Yeah. Circle. <clears throat> circle. So my rule about yarn bombing is I, I want it to be sort of big. And so I use really big crochet hooks and I like it to only take me like an evening. So I put my youngest daughter down to bed. And then I'll just sit and work on it from like one to three hours because it has to be done in one night. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. Because, you know, it's, it's yarn bombing. So even though that's a, an exciting and fun experience, it can be stolen or taken away or whatever. And another of my rules is I just like to pull for my stash. I did make an exception for Pikachu because I just don't have this color. I don't think a lot of people have this color in their stash. So I went to Walmart and got some uh, Hometown USA from Lion Brand. And then the other thing I like to do is try to add a little something special. So, like this one has some sparkle yarn in it. This one, does that have sparkle? And it just has different texture. Like this one is curly yarn. This one, some of them are just normal. So one of them is just like more of a, it's like chained. Yeah, and because it's so chunky and big, I have to use several strands together. Pikachu I only used, actually I think I might have used two strands. No, I just used one. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I use two strands together even for Pikachu, even though Hometown USA is bulky. So if you don't have the right color of something in the right weight, you can just combine, you know, several together. So this was like all the different creams that I had that were kind of the ends of and the ball. And then one is like just white. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Here on Oddish I have some glitter too, because I thought that was sort of fun for the leaves. Tangela, what's special about Tangela is I have actually Amigurumi plastic eyes on there. So it, I don't know if you'll notice, but... Tangela has this like sort of deer in headlights look about him, her, whatever. And I, don't, I just didn't think I could achieve it without the plastic eyes. And then I did, I actually had started working on it with this darker blue yarn and it wasn't reading as Tangela. It was too close, it was too similar to the sort of gray tweed we have for the face. So I ended up adding this brighter combination of blues in my stash and I think it turned out nice. And it has a different depth with like sort of the deeper blue and the lighter blue. I wanted to point out also that I used this special Lion Brand yarn. I think it's called the Gold Leaf. And here's an example of another colorway of it. It has this sort of turquoise and actual metal metallic gold flecks on it. And this one is gray with silver. And when I was sitting down sort of considering how to make... Is it real make... silver? No. But when I was sitting down trying to consider how to make the rocks and the contrasting rocks, I thought, oh my gosh, that's the perfect yarn for those rocks. I didn't use a pattern for any of these. What I do is I just look up on images, on Google, I do a Google search on images for the different Pokemon. And for example, for Pikachu, I was very intimidated by all the different shapes that Pokemon has, yeah. going, or Pikachu has going on. But I just searched all the Pikachu images I could find and I, I picked the one that was the most sort of succinct. So this one had its arms drawn on, so I decided to stitch the arms on and the body was kind of like, sort of two whitish circle-y rectangles. 
But I thought the tail was going to be hard, but then I was like, oh, I know how to make this shape. So, I mean, I, th I think I could have done better on this part, but I'm like, it's yarn bombing. So another rule of yarn bombing is you just kind of keep going. You don't really start over again. You just Because honestly, the whole image, you could just tell. <laughs> yeah, you can tell it's Pikachu. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we just wanted to showcase these before we went out and actually yarn bombed. There's one more I made called Ditto. I'm not sure if Ditto is on Pokemon Go, but... He's more of just like this circle shape, but like he's tiny, like... I actually made him in my apartment where I don't oh. have my, oops, I don't have my yarn stash in my apartment, so I had very limited resources, and I just used a couple of sparkly bonbons and then some pink cotton that I just had on hand, so it, Ditto ended up being like about star U size, maybe a little smaller, so he'll yeah. be small, and I don't have him up here, but he's not my best one. He's not my proudest one, even though he was the last one I made. Like, I, think, I think the last one you made was like, just like a rush. Kind of a throwaway, mm -hmm. yeah. So anyway, we're going to Yarn Bomb soon. We're, we found a great gym, Pokemon Go Gym, is that what they're called? Yeah. It's called a gym. And we're going to Yarn Bomb them near the gym so that people who are playing the game Yeah, can... I think we should do it all at one gym. Yeah, I think they should all be together. And maybe even like this. Yeah. Because this is a good photo op, right? Like, selfie! You can kind of get them all in. Selfie! Yeah, I think this could be good if they were all kind of clumped together. Alright, so that's it for our Pokemon Yarn Bomb. Stay tuned for the video when we actually yarn storm. I think we're going to like put a hashtag, like hashtag below. The city. It's going to be... I don't know what it's going to be yet. Stay tuned for the hashtag, but we should probably put a hashtag sign too, right? Okay, stay tuned for that. Thanks guys, see you later! Bye!